What's up y'all, Bricks from Bricks Fitness. Today's video is going to be a review or reaction video to the crazy documentary that everybody talking about. Strong Mind, Strong Body t-shirts are in stock right now. Definitely had to remind y'all real quick. I think the creators of this documentary had really good intentions. That's, that's first and foremost. I know a lot of vegans who are very passionate about their particular way of eating. Side note, I went to a vegan festival recently and about 30% of the people were overweight and unhealthy. Vegan does not necessarily mean healthy. So this documentary, I do believe they had good intentions. Bottom line, they wanted to create buzz. They wanted to get some sort of shock value. They wanted to get a reaction out of people. They wanted to get us making videos about it. They wanted to, you know, generate buzz so that they can make money. I think it's not fair when a person takes their particular way of eating and tries to convince the world that that's the only way of eating healthy. I think the style that he delivered the information was very tasteless and very propaganda-like. I think his mission was to create fear in people and to, to kind of have that shock value, which I'm pretty sure he achieved because a lot of people are calling my phone like, oh my God, what should I eat? I can't eat fish, I can't eat meat. I don't think it's productive. It doesn't fix the problem for you to create panic in society. And that's kind of what this documentary has done, in my opinion. Do I think eventually I will become vegan? I think it's a possibility. I think it's a possibility, but Am I going to say, yo, I'm out this, I just watched this documentary, I'm gonna stop eating meat and eggs. Like, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to progressively try to eat healthier as I get older. I'm going to take my time. I'm not gonna be pressured by videos or, or articles on the internet. I'm gonna educate myself. I'm going to do experiments on myself with different styles of eating. And I'm going to do ultimately what works best for me, and I think you should do the same thing. So two claims that I wanna address from this documentary, What the Health. He claims, eating processed meats is as bad for you as smoking a cigarette. Now, I think that's a very, very uh, interesting claim. Do I eat processed meats? Yes, but very, very seldomly. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. And you know, I eat bacon once in a while. Do I eat hot dogs? Hell no. I don't eat hot dogs. I don't eat turkey bacon. He claimed that eating processed meat can increase your chances of, of getting cancer by 18%. The World Health Organization, they did a study. There's a 5% chance that we develop cancer, colon cancer, without, you know, if you eat a healthy diet. Eating processed meat every single day increases that chance by 1%. So, is eating some salami or a hot dog every once in a while going to significantly impact your health? No. Should you eat it every day? Absolutely not. You shouldn't even eat it every month, if you ask me. Another claim that this uh, documentary makes that I wanna address, eating an egg a day is as bad as smoking five cigarettes. There's no way. I think a lot of the research that he based his claims on is old research. Cholesterol isn't as bad as we thought it was 20 years ago. I love eggs, and I'm going to eat eggs every day until my body tells me otherwise. Do I eat a whole lot of egg yellows? No, I don't. I do eat a substantial amount of egg whites every day, probably at least eight egg whites every day. I'll have yellows here and there, only because I rather spend my fats on peanut butter, but that's just me. At the end of the day, I think it was very tasteless. I think he's using fear tactics, scare tactics, um, in order to create buzz around his documentary. Do, do I think it was based on truth? Yes, it was based on truth, but it was very exaggerated. So my idea of a healthy diet is one that is high in vegetables, fruits, lean meats, fish, uh, nuts, healthy fats, low fat dairies, because dairy is not bad for you. You just wanna make sure it's low fat dairies. Um, but that is really low in red meats, 
um, fried foods you want to be really limited with the fried foods that is low on alcohol like this is my idea of a healthy diet it's what works best for me at the end of the day you need to do what works best for you make sure you educate yourself and don't just take one person's opinion or one source opinion make sure you get your information from a variety of valid sources and figure out what works best for you as always guys i'm just trying to share the wellness so get well and get money